There'll never be no comparison. You're live on the show. Sit back and have a listen. LDBC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Boxing and MMA Show Live. Okay, folks, uh, Danielle Taylor, she just got through having uh, her second UFC fight, and she's got her first UFC victory. So congratulations to strawweight Danielle Taylor uh, for her victory over Suyi Ham. Now let me go ahead and break the fight down. Round one, okay, I gave round one to Suyi Ham because she kept the relentless pressure coming, and she was throwing a beautiful counter left hand that Daniel Taylor just didn't have an answer for. That left hand found a home, and actually she lumped up Daniel Taylor a little bit. And I was wondering, you know, like, okay, what was Daniel going to do to avoid that left hand? And Daniel wisely started circling from the left hand, but then Su Yi Ham kept getting back into that mid range position, and Daniel Taylor would try to throw a wide, like she'd th try to throw those looping right hands, and Su Yi Ham immediately just came back. And she would pow, pop it with that left hand. I mean, the straight left hand really was her most formidable weapon, man. I didn't see Su Yi Ham try to do much of anything else, you know. Um, but I gave round one to Su Yi Ham just because I felt like she landed the more significant strikes. And I felt like Danielle Taylor was, you know, doing a lot of retreating. I, 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 you know, I'll tell you what I think about that toward the end of this video. But I just thought Danielle was doing more retreating and she wouldn't engage Su Yi Ham. And actually, I think if Danielle would have stood in the pocket with her, she probably would have got the knockout. That's just my opinion. Round two, that round was a toss-up round to me, okay? I thought that round was a toss-up round, and I, I couldn't give it clear-cut to anybody. Um, I thought Danielle Taylor had her moments in round two. She had her moments that she began to get into a nice little rhythm, but Su Yi Ham still was finding a home for that left hand. And I felt like Danielle Taylor did not make an adjustment to the left hand. I still don't think she did it. She landed her right hand on man. She was catching Su Yi Ham. And I got to give it to Su Yi, man. This girl got a chin, man. She got a chin. That's Honestly, that's about all she got. She got a chin and a left hand. Because other than that, she didn't do any other kind of technical anything in this fight. Except for walk forward, uh, you know, avoid the right, and throw the left counter. Um... But I still thought that these two were probably dead even in round two. I thought they were. Um, I thought the counter left hand found his home, and I thought Danielle Taylor's right hand began to do a little bit more damage. And also, too, Danielle Taylor threw a, a few leg kicks in this second round. And, you know, her corner, I wish her corner would have told her, okay, Danielle, she's walking straight ahead. Just throw the leg kick, step back out of range, throw the leg kick. Because that would have slowed Su Yi Ham down. Throwing those body kicks, Su Yi Ham was trying to time the body kicks of Danielle Taylor. And you can tell she was trying to time them because she was going to try to catch the leg. But I got to credit Danielle Taylor with her speed because Su Yi Ham was having a hard, difficult time timing those leg kicks. I'm sorry, timing those body kicks. She couldn't time them. So she was not successful in trying to catch the leg kicks. So, But round two, I, I called that round completely even. Round three was completely dominated by Danielle Taylor. That right hand was finding the mark so much, man, that Su Yi Ham started to slow down. Um, I kind of wish Danielle Taylor would have went to the body a little bit more to keep that girl from walking ahead. Like, Su Yi Ham is a striker's paradise. I'm telling y'all, she's a striker's paradise. Like, you could have, she gave Danielle Taylor so many openings. But nonetheless, the right hand still found that mark, man. And I thought Danielle Taylor did a good job in the third round. And then, you know, Su Yi Ham received an accidental eye poke from Danielle Taylor. And Su Yi Ham was trying to call a timeout like this is damn football. And Danielle Taylor then began to whoop her ass even more in the third round. Um, completely, I give that round to Su... I mean, I'm sorry, I give the third round to Danielle, uh, to Danielle Taylor. But in my opinion, I thought this fight was a draw. I, I don't really agree with the decision. I thought it was a draw. Um, you could have... I don't think... Yeah, I, just, I thought the fight was a draw. And the reason being, I don't think Su Yi Ham did enough. And I don't think Danielle Taylor did enough to warrant to warrant a 30 to 27 victory. I mean, I don't know who that judge was, but 30 to 27, that, that, that's a bit much, okay? I agree with 29 to 28. I agree with that. But 30 to 27, no, that's a bit much, man. And that judge needed to get his eyes examined. This fight was very close, okay? I don't want to say it was a robbery. I just thought it was a draw. Um, one thing I noticed that the retreating methodology doesn't work for Danielle Taylor. It don't work, man. And she likes to retreat and try to, you know, get her shots off, retreat. It don't work. And see, when you get a skilled striker, like a really skilled technician, like an Alexa Grazo or a Joanna, 
they're going to eat Danielle Taylor alive. I mean, folks, that's just the way that is. I was pulling for Danielle Taylor to win this fight. I was completely pulling for Danielle to do it. And, and I'm happy that she got the victory, but there's some things that she got to work on. And when the left hand was finding a home, I was really hoping that Danielle Taylor start to time Su Yi Ham coming in and then go for the takedown. She tried for one takedown, and she was pretty much halfway successful. But then she didn't try for another takedown. And, I'm, you know, I'm sitting there thinking, God, man. You know, like, she's got a lot to work on because if she get in there with an Alexa Grazo, if she get in there with Carolina, if she get in there with Joanna, I mean, those straw weights are going to completely annihilate her. This is a good victory for her. And she definitely, you know, has the goods to be good. But that retreating and that stepping back, that's not going to work. And that's not going to, she's not going to win on points if she keeps doing that. She's going to have to, you know, she's going to have to learn how to stand in there slip punches. Okay, she's going to learn how to really check the kicks. But she's going to have to start getting into mid-range and fighting on the inside. She's going to have to because she can't fight at a range because she's too short. She's too short to fight at range. She's going to have to learn how to get it on the, on the inside. And honestly, she would have knocked out Su Yi Ham if she just would have got on her chest and started going to work. Because Su Yi Ham couldn't do anything with that right hand. All she had to do was get in her chest, man, and she would have won this fight easily. Like, And I've seen Danielle Taylor do that. But see, that's before she started fighting some of these sharks in the UFC. Okay, these UFC opponents, they're not like those opponents she had before she came to UFC. They're just not, man. These opponents got chins, and they ain't afraid to take a punch. Su Yi Ham, I gotta give it to her. She got a, you know, she got a chin, but you know, she was acting like she was upset about the decision. I mean, why? You shouldn't be. I mean, you know, either that, you know, either she, but I think Su Yi Ham thought she won the fight, but I, I don't know why she thought that. But you guys, tell me what you think about this, man. Tell me what you think about my assessment of Danielle. I just think Danielle, they need to do something else because against you know the top straw weights in the UFC. I, I can't see her beating any of the top or being competitive. And that's just how it is. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done. Subscribe.